Well, hello friends, it's Brandon here at Miracle RV in beautiful Fort Lupton, Colorado. It is a warm summer day here in 2020 and I got some great news for you. We just received this travel trailer behind me, teardrop style, very light, very easy to tow, perfect for you if you have a mid-size or lightweight vehicle. It is brand new to our dealership, never seen it before, and we are very excited about it. Let's go take a look. So Braxton Creek out of Indiana makes the Bushwhacker line. The Bushwhackers have a variety of styles. Their teardrop is probably their most famous. The Bushwhacker Pluses have a bathroom. What's great with this, you're only at 2,300 pound dry weight and you only are about 18 feet bumper to hitch. So really light, very compact, perfect for those light and mid-size vehicles, SUVs, trucks, etc. First thing you notice probably is the off-road style tires and the great height. Here in Colorado, we love getting in the back country and getting off-road, so perfect for that. Coming around, you see the 20-pound propane tank, perfect to exchange at gas stations, convenience stores, and grocery stores. Spot for your 12-volt battery. Now here at Miracle RV, we do include your battery with purchase. Pretty neat. Manual tongue jack, but it's such a light hitch weight, it's very easy to bring up and down. Coming around this side here, I want to show you the sticker. Love pointing this out. 3,300 pound gross vehicle weight rating, your GVWR. So very, very light, even at its maximum. You've got a cargo capacity just shy of 1,000 pounds. The sticker says 975. So you are about 2,300 pounds, as you'll see the sticker on the inside. This is a brand new 2021 Bushwhacker Plus, manufactured just last month, July 2020. You got your fresh water tank here for your boondocking, for your off-grid camping. You've got a 24-gallon freshwater tank on board. Your six-gallon water heater. Outside of your furnace, portable solar panel plug-in. You can plug in a 20-amp. Great if you're off-grid. If you don't have any hookups, keep that battery charged when you're boondocking. Now, it does have the 30-amp electrical plug. This comes with it, as they usually do. It is currently plugged in, so we'll get to see all the lights inside. Outside of your refrigerator, and outside of your air conditioner. I really like the side mounted air conditioner because since it's not roof mounted, you don't have to lose any of that height. Um, you can fit this in some smaller spots. So pretty neat that way. Not worried so much about the trees hitting it. Beautiful tires, beautiful wheels, excuse me. Nice off-road style tires as well. Pretty cool. You can see it's got really good ground clearance and you got your drains on the back, your gray water, your black water. So this one does have a full bathroom on board. Have an outside shower as well, so pretty neat. Both hot and cold water that you got right here on the outside, so pretty neat. Nice tinted windows, and then check out this pass-through storage. Perfect space for your fishing poles, your longer hiking equipment, and your outdoor cooking stuff. Nice finished compartment, and goes all the way through, really a true pass-through. Nice little running lights on the outside, and you can see the stabilizer jacks. There's one on each side of the back. They are both up currently but that's where they are. Get another view here. And you see your spare tire underneath, if you can see it. Spare tire and then two stabilizer jacks. Nice one-piece roof. Really cool. You can see your antenna on the top there. Coming across the side, look at this great size opening on this side for your pass-through. So really great access to get all your camping gear in there. Here's your exterior propane connector. You can see, so you can hook up a portable gas grill, hook up something on the outside and enjoy that beautiful camping trip. Coming across here, 17 FL. Nice little outside patio light. Of course, everything's LED, so not using too much battery power. I love the big screen door, allowing some great airflow, allowing you to really get some fresh air inside the camper. Now I wanted to show you here, if you can see that, 2320 is the unloaded vehicle weight. So 2320, very, very light. Full load of water is just about 200 pounds of cargo. Let's take a look at the inside. Coming inside the camper, you'll notice, as I mentioned, there's an FL, so front living. So it's pretty cool. You can see the straps to keep this chair in place. Nice little rocker very comfortable and it straps down for travel and then is fully removable so you could put dog kennel there you can use it for storage you can really do what you want with the space which is pretty neat 
a lot of versatility with this floor plan. Nice bench seating and the flip up table's nice too. How cool is that? Flip up table, perfect for a couple of people. Have your meals, enjoy the inside of your camper on those cold or rainy days. What I really like on this table is you can do one handed, pull this latch and it comes down. So I'm gonna move that out of the way. But as so many of you know, one, um, some of those extensions, you have to have two hands to do it, so that's pretty neat. Let's go ahead and flip around. So looking here, you can see the LED lighting. Lots of light in here, very, very bright, which is very nice. You see your speakers, you have an indoor Bluetooth stereo system, any music on your cell phone, you can play through here. Taking a look at the kitchen, you have a nice stainless steel sink. As you can see, this is brand new. Still has um, some coverings on it. Your convenience center for your water pump, your water heater LP, water heater electric, and then of course your tank level monitors. Two, pan two burner propane stove. Very nice. And then of course that light underneath really is nice. Love having this extra counter space. Nice prep area. Comes with the microwave. And some storage. Of course, these are all the manuals, everything that just came in. Now, this just came off the truck mere minutes ago. The 12 volt fan is a great feature. I'm really happy they added this, that they have this in here as a standard feature. Because, as you know, if you are not hooked up, you only have your battery if you're not plugged in, and this runs off the battery. Open those windows up, turn that fan on, get some great airflow coming into your camper. High, medium, and low settings, and off. Of course you have an air conditioner now this camper is currently plugged in so when you're plugged in and you got full hookups wow that feels great you can run that air conditioner coming across to the bathroom area you can see this is a wet bath configuration which is a great way to save space and something this compact you have your toilet there what's nice you do have all three tanks your shower some decent head space actually some decent headroom very nice very easy to use. Pretty de de good depth to it actually. Check out this new style. If you haven't seen this new style of door, it's really nice. You don't have a big door taking up space inside your coach. You basically have a screen that comes out and is very easy to use. Very nice. Let's check out some of the storage. Nice space underneath your sink. This goes all the way through as you can see. Well, we need to fit all your cooking supplies in there pretty easily. Here's your furnace, so all your hot air is going to come out through here, which is great. It's right in the middle of the coach. And then you do have a Bluetooth stereo. As I said, any music you have on your cell phone, podcasts, anything on a laptop, you can play through here and start having a good time at your campsite. Here's your refrigerator. Not a bad size, actually. And your bed. Now this is an RV queen, so that means it's 60 by 74, which is a pretty good size actually. You see that size in a lot of bigger travel trailers, and it makes a lot of sense in something this size. I love how you have the lights, two of them over the bed, perfect for reading at night or getting up to use the restroom. Windows on either side open up, allowing some great airflow, and then your blinds are the nice accordion style. And I like that they're black because it actually gives you a little bit more privacy, a little bit more darkness in here. And your emergency exit window fully pops open for you to jump out if so needed. So 60 by 74 RV Queen, which is very nice in this style of camper that you don't have to break down your dining room table every night to have a place to sleep. You have a dedicated bed, plus you also have your dedicated seating area across the coach. Nice little shelf, good size, perfect to put all your extra little stuff, towels, you know, your miscellaneous stuff you always end up having when you're camping. Coming across here, I'm gonna point out the thermostat right next to the air conditioner electrical plug. And then you do have a 110 electrical receptacle and your little powered coaxial connection. There is an antenna on the top, so you can see the King logo here possibly. 
So you could also put a TV here, a really good place to put a TV, maybe mount it on the wall or set it right here, perfectly positioned to see from almost anywhere in the coach, and your USB charger. I love how it's right by the bed when you're charging your cell phone at night, perfect location. So I'm sitting on the bed, you can kind of see the rest of the camper. That's a small camper, but there's really a lot to see. Kitchen here on the left, shower and toilet on the right, and your seating area up front. So pretty neat. We're really excited about this floor plan. It's something definitely unique, and we haven't never seen it before. Let's check this out. Oh, wow. Another full storage compartment. That is cool. Didn't even realize that was there. So a nice seating area. Again, I want to just point out how nice and easy that is to use. So, you know, imagine with two people here. And, of course, this chair being completely removable and movable, you can really position it how you'd like. So, pretty cool. Well, thank you guys very much for your time. Again, it's Brandon here, Miracle RV in Fort Lupton, Colorado. Let us know any questions you have. We are the Braxton Creek dealer here, and we're happy to help you out. Hope we can earn your business, and happy camping. Take care.